Good evening, y'all. We have got an awesome video in store for you. We're going to be upgrading this Acer Nitro 50, and we're going to be throwing an RTX 3050. Now, you're probably wondering, like, hey, Tech Nightwood, that's not that huge of an upgrade from a 1650. Well, one real neat thing is you get DLS 2.0. I don't know if my benchmarks are going to really reflect it, and you get 8 gigabytes, which is very important for 1440p gaming and or 1080p gaming or any gaming at all. Uh, the extra VRAM is very, very nice if you're playing games that require it. So other than that, guys, that's what's in store for this uh, upgrade. You don't need any special adapter cables. You are going to need a Phillips. Go ahead and take your side panel off like this and go ahead and unplug all your wires. And that's where we're going to start the, the upgrade from. All right, guys, after you get your uh, side panel off and everything, a couple things I want to go over. So with this card currently in here, if we take a look uh, around in the rear, we see that we only have two ports here, which this means you can only support two monitors. And one's a DVI port. And DVI will support 1440p, but... The most common thing now is going to be HDMI or DisplayPort. And if you're going to be doing some awesome gaming, a lot of people are going to have multi-monitors or might hook up a TV and two monitors, you know, so you can watch TV off your PC. Well, with this card, you're kind of limited. Your TV and a monitor. You know, you can't have a second monitor if you want. You have, like, Discord or you've got a web page with an internet browser up and you're browsing. One real neat thing about the RTX 3050 is this thing has freaking four ports. It's got an HDMI which is usually the best for, you know, TVs, and then display ports, which is, are usually the best ports for, you know, gaming monitors. Of course, there's no problem using an HDMI for gaming. It's just, you know, most TVs are going to want an HDMI. All right, guys, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to turn to the rear here. Or, sorry, we're going to unclip our GPU right here and then turn to the rear here, and we need to take our two screws right here Go ahead and zoom these guys out. And if you do, for some reason happen to lose one of these screws, these are just normal PC screws. You can order them off of Amazon or get a kit. Everything you see me using in this video, I will have linked down in the description down below. I'll probably also have some upgraded cards past the RTX 3050, so if you're wondering if that'll work, I they all will work that I have listed down below. But if you get past the 3060, or no, I think the 3060 actually requires dual A pins. If any of the cards that I have linked in there require the dual A pin, you're going to need the adapter I also have linked in there. So go ahead and open your door. And one thing you want to be careful about is we don't want to hurt our 1650. It's still a good graphics card. Don't grab it by the fan. So I'll grab right here and then the back right here, get my finger, pull straight out, and she comes on out. <clears throat> Beautiful black graphics card with the do not touch the fan. All right guys, now that we have our graphics card out, we're gonna grab our RTX 3050, and this is an MSI variant. It's a single eight pin right there. And we're gonna slot this beautiful black graphics card. I don't know why they're so, they're always black, but they're, they're nice and big and black and sexy. All right, we're gonna slot our MSI 3050 in here and just get the PCI slot lined up and you might have to feel in the back for the slot, the dual slots. Send her on home, close your door because you're not born in a barn, and put your two screws back. I always secure the graphics card before I try plugging stuff in because you don't want to wiggle and jiggle around with the, the PCI slot. It's doubtful that you'll break anything, but you know we are 200 pound gorillas and we do break stuff. Secure the card before you do your power cable. All right, so now we got our card secured. You don't have to Superman it down. So if we look here on our 500 watt power supply, which if you don't have the 500 watt power supply, you can comment down below. I'm actually wondering, because I was looking at these and I didn't see a lot of them that had other power supplies and I'd really like to know. I did do a bunch of research on this thing, but the model number changes and they do some goofy stuff and well, if the model number changes on this guy, the case changes, so it's not technically the same PC. They are in the Nitro family, so I'm just asking my viewers if you could help me out. Is there any other Acers that are out there in the Nitro family that have a smaller power supply than a 500 watt? Because if that is the case, we are going to have to do a power supply upgrade video for you guys. But anyways, we're going to grab our 6-pin, and there's a plus 2 right here, and you want to slot this guy right next to it. And then the tabby on this guy goes up, and actually I'm on the wrong side here. So you want to put this together with that. Tab is going to go towards the sky. 
wiggle and jiggle around home. And then you might have to kind of bend the cables up a little bit. Hold your graphics card when you do this if you really got a torque on it. Because, of course, your, your side panel is still squat. Anyways, guys, I am going to get everything plugged back in, get her booted up to do a comparison from the GTX 1650 to our RTX 3050. One's a 6 gigabyte card and the one's an 8 gigabyte card. So let's see how they match up. All right, guys, we just got done rocking some awesome benchmarks and let's jump over to the on-screen really quick. So on the left, you're gonna see the GTX 1650. We scored 3,596. And on the right, you're gonna see the RTX 3050. We scored 6,323. That's almost double the score. I'm gonna have to say DLSS 2.0 really kicked in here. On D, uh, this is a DirectX 12 benchmark. Of course, the DirectX 11 benchmark could probably be a little bit comparable, but of course you do have that extra VRAM on the 3050. All right, let's go to the first graphics test, and we scored 21.46 versus 40.57 on our RTX 3050. And our second graphics score on the 1650 was 19.12, and our graphics test number two on the RTX 3050 was 34.91. Of course, let's jump over to the actual benchmark we just ran that I have a screenshot of, and let's look at the FPSs you would get in Battlefield 5 on 1440p Ultra. You're looking at 60 frames plus, Apex Legends, 75 frames plus, GTA 5, 40 frames plus, Fortnite, 50 frames plus, and of course Red Dead Redemption, less than 30. So of course, Red Dead Redemption eats all graphics cards alive, so I, that's to be expected. But uh, anyways, guys, this is going to be a budget mid-road upgrade. Other than looking at like an RTX 3060 or 3060 Ti, which will work in here, I'm going to have to give this a thumb up and a half. Like, I, yeah, I, I, at first the RTX 3050, I really didn't like it. So, guys, I really do see some of the benefits with this RTX 3050. 8 gigabytes of VRAM, 4 monitor ports. I mean, what's not like, what's not to love about this card? And it's cheap. So if you want an upgrade and you don't want to break the bank, this is where it's at. Um, of course, if you do spend a little bit more, you can get that 3060 and it's going to really show. Maybe I will do an RTX 3050 versus a 3060 and a 3060 Ti to see where it lands. But of course, you're going to have to comment. And if I get enough comments about this, I will definitely do it. Everything you see me use in this video today other than this PC will be linked down in the description down below. If you really want to help the channel out, go ahead, order from there. It helps me out. Other than that, guys, I hope you like, comment, and subscribe, and I am out, y'all.